What's up, guys? Back with another video. Um, talking about a recent video that just got released. Dana White um, was seen at on a New Year's Eve party. He got into a physical altercation with his wife and ended up slapping his wife. So I just wanted to address this video because I know this is a men's personal development um, channel and also a UFC channel. So I thought, you know, I could tie these two things in and have a little discussion about it. But he's at this party with his wife. Obviously, they're having some sort of disagreement. Um, He's drinking heavily. She's drinking heavily. So you're in a situation where your um, judgment is impaired, your thinking is impaired, and you're more likely, as a man, to act irrationally or act out of emotion when a girl slaps you in the face, which was his wife. So all he had this agreement, his wife slapped him in his face. He looks at his wife for a quick second and then slaps her in the face and then slaps her again. And he's just a, he, he's 100% in the wrong. Like, he's 100% in the wrong. And as a man, bro, you really, like, you, you can never put your hands on a woman, bro. Like, I mean, unless you're in a literal, a literal life or death situation where the, this girl is literally, you're fearing for your life. They have a gun or knife or... Maybe this is a girl who's completely bigger than you. Um, could that ever be okay? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, we got to make sure that us as men that we're not exceeding our alcohol content, that we're going to be putting a situ us in a situation where if we get into an argument, we're just going to act irrationally and slap somebody. If a girl ever slaps you, bro, just grab her and hold her, bro. Just grab her and hold her. Cause when you put your hands on a woman is a is a moment you you go downhill, bro. That she she presses charges, she takes you to court, you're going to jail for domestic violence or or assault, and you're done for. And as a guy like Dan White, with this high level of status, is you know wealth and and everything like that, when he has an uh, an issue like this get brought to the public, he gets painted as a bad guy. No matter how much, matter no matter what she she said in that moment. She could have said something absolutely crazy. She could have technically deserved to get slapped. But you don't but you don't put your hands on a woman as a man. You just don't cross that line. If she if she slapped you in, in the face, bro, and she starts because she slapped him in the face and was getting to walk away and you slapped her. If that ever happens, bro, you're gonna have to just eat that, eat that slap. Especially when you're in a public setting, especially when you're someone of a high status like Dana White, right? Owns a UFC, um, multi-millionaire, successful people from all different avenues of the world want to interview him, speak to him, widely known. You can't, you can't put, allow yourself to be in a situation like that. Especially, you know, when it, when it's a girl, when you're hitting a girl, you're hitting your wife, you're hitting a, your your spouse, the mother of your children. It's just a, it's a bad look. It embarrasses not only you, it embarrasses your children. Um, and it embarrasses the, the, the UFC, the company as a whole, because now it's looking like we have a, a woman abuser as the president of the, of the company, which is not a good look. And, and, you know, Dana White has came out and he's apologized and he said that, you know, he's a hundred percent in the wrong, which he is. Um, but the biggest takeaways, fellas, we got, you've got to learn how to control your emotions and control and ultimately Learn how to control your alcohol intake because some of you guys, and, and we all know people who they can't, when they drink a lot of alcohol, bro, they just, their judgment is just completely off. They act out. They do stuff they wouldn't do. And some people can drink a lot of alcohol and they're still calm. They're mellow. They're, they're, they're in good reasoning. When a situation like that, that was probably getting built up over some time. They're talking, the the rate of their pitch of their voices are going up higher. They're having a disagreement. They're going up higher, higher, higher to the point where she turned around and slapped them. You as a man in that situation, bro, you need to take a deep breath and either tell her to just get the hell on for the night and you talk to her when you cool down. But the last thing you can do, bro, and I don't care what she did to you, what she said to you, she could have cheated on you, bro. The last thing you want to do is turn back around and slap her and slap her twice. And let somebody else catch that on video. I promise you're going to lose in court, bro. You're going to lose. So let's let's make it um, a habit. Let's make it known that 
us as men, we're, we're going to act rationally. And if you're unable to act rationally, don't drink that much. Get a slight buzz. And just cool off. You got a slight buzz going, you're chilling. But man, it, it, it hurts to see, you know, somebody like, I, I really like Dana White, but it hurts to see him in a situation like that. And that's just something that us as men, you know, you got to be smart. You got to be smart. You having a disagreement, you drink that. That's when a lot of domestic violence happens, bro. Drinking and arguments between a man and a woman. A lot of domestic violence has happened because of that. So one of two things got to happen. You either need to be more in control of your emotions or two, quit the drinking or limit it so you can be in control of your emotions. So that's today's video. I'll be back again tomorrow talking about power slap and then uh, we'll go from there. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.